Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago. As one of my loved ones told me yesterday, the morning prayer recorded on our back porch with a bad video angle and everything. So, um, good to have you uh, joining us for this uh, few short moments of, of morning prayer. Uh, we begin by recalling our baptism in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, ascension hymn. On Christ's ascension, I now build the hope of my ascension. This hope alone has always stilled all doubt and apprehension. For where the head is, there as well I know his members are to dwell, when Christ shall come and call them. Since Christ returned to claim his throne, great gifts for me obtaining, my heart shall rest in him alone, no other rest remaining. For where my treasure went before, there all my thoughts shall ever soar to still their deepest yearning. Amen. Morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. The Lord is risen. The Lord is ascended. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. His hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Amen. Um, I was asked uh, to um, pinch hit for a chapel service at Wisconsin Lutheran College uh, later this morning and preparing um, a devotion there on Ephesians chapter 1, which Vicar will be preaching on at our church um, for our Thursday Ascension service at 6.30. Anyways, um, working uh, yesterday through Ephesians chapter 1 led me also um, to consider the words of Psalm 8, um, a Psalm of David, which is our devotion today. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above all the heavens, out of the mouths of babes and infants. You have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you've made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. When you consider the works of God's hand, the, the works of creation, the, the works of the Lord, how majestic is his name in all the earth as you see the sun come up and you see the frost on the grass today and it's hanging off of the trees. How majestic is the Lord's name in all the earth. And Psalm 8, King David points us to this truth, that God has placed these things under our feet and under our care. This is something that goes, goes back to the creation of the world, the crown of God's creation. He's given us this creation to rule over and to guard and to keep. It's given to us for our blessing and to his glory. And we know what man does with it. We know what mankind has done with rule from the fall into sin until now. The ascension of our Lord Jesus in Ephesians chapter 1 points us to another startling truth. That while God has given us all things under our feet, while God has given us rule and dominion, there is a second Adam who came, Christ Jesus, and everything has been placed under his feet. He raises from the grave and ascends into heaven to rule over all things, and this too for your good. What joy is ours and what hope is ours as we continue to live and 
and rest under his gracious rule, confident that all things work out for the good of all those who love him. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. In all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday.